Today, I'll show you how to create a relief map in one click just using a function of QGIS 3. So, the first thing is to download the digital terrain model. I will use the same that I used before from the Veneto region. You can download it from here. I'll leave you the URL in the in the description so scroll down and download the DT, the 10 meters resolution DTM from the mountain region of the Veneto region which is in the north of Italy and open QJS and load it the result should be this one and what you are gonna do here is to create a relief map with standard colors, so not really customizable, and, but it's quite beautiful with default settings. So open the processing toolbox and scroll and open the raster and terrain analysis and click the double click the relief uh, processing algorithm. So um, a dialog will pop up choose as elevation layer the one we have in the project the z factor is the amplification of the z um, coordinate so maybe you want to exaggerate height this is quite useful if you are in a region where the slope is not uh, really really great um, and maybe you want to uh, smooth differences and so on but I'll leave it one so the data we have in the DTM is the actual value of the height uh, you may want to generate relief classes automatically or you can set all of them for the lower bound upper bound so you you just define the settings and uh, you want you may want to use a preset you have here you can load it you can save it but uh, for the moment i'll use the generate relief classes automatically so the there is no other thing to set so click run and wait a um, few seconds uh, you will see a beautiful result as the default is really is really nice now it has run so this is the result which is actually quite nice to see if you double click the relief you will see that there is no symbology because it's just the uh, it had QGIS have created a new raster file you can save it if you want and you may want to add a new no data value and no data value may be shown as no color or you can set the transparency in pixels list and you can set zero 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 to be transparent so here is the result settings the transparency to the dark black color and the results are, is actually very nice and it is uh, more a tool to process things that to uh, show them and customize them in QJS so it actually have a different usage than the one we saw in a previous video that I will link here for you to have a reference. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been useful and see you to the next video.